So far we've seen a lot of creatures on Ark that are really fast and we've debated on them. But today we're going for one of Ark's slowest creatures, the Akantina. Now although it's very slow, it's not completely useless. This creature can actually make its own cementing paste in the form of a container paste, which replaces cementing paste, and it passively creates this, so you haven't even got to do anything for it. The only problem with this is the a container only eats sweet vegetable cakes, which as we all know, it can be a bit resourceful making it, and even when tamed, you still have to keep making them because that is literally all they eat once they're tamed as well. Oh yeah, did I mention that they're also found in very dangerous environments? So sit back guys, relax, and let's go tame ourselves, and I can tame them. So today guys we are going for the Akantina which is the giant snail. Now it's not dangerous whatsoever so what we're going to do is just get something to trank it out with and I'm taking the very basic bow with some trank arrows. So when it comes to the consumer bells we're going to take this stack of 49 narcotics. You can use narco berries. I probably would use narco berries but I've just got these stacked up so I might as well use them. When it comes to taming food, the Akantina only eats sweet vegetable cakes. So I've got all my ingredients in here. I'm just going to place that on cooking while we're doing this. So to make the sweet vegetable cake, you're going to need two giant bee honey, four sap, two raw carrots, two long grass, two save roots, four stimulants, and 25 fiber mixed with water. Ah, there we go. We must have enough there we've got five that should do us to be fair and when it comes to the companion we're taking the caprasuchus now the location of the acantina is the redwood biome or swamp biome they love the muddy swampy swamps okay guys so we're in the redwoods and i have a philo with me <laughs> i Literally, one of my thylos that is just set to wandering around the redwoods has made its way to me here, which I'm very happy about because there's a lot of uh, carnos and everything. Yeah, let me have a little bit of a help. There's a lot of carnos and raptors and stuff. Oh, sh Jesus. Scared me then. Yeah, this is very dangerous, and this is why you should always bring a decent mount i have my caprasuka for the simple reason as you can see we've got some akatevas here but akantinas i will get the name right i think this one's dead in it no but i did make sure it died okay let's go try and find another one one sec let me just empty this bad boy's inventory out you can have two raw meat it's fine so we can find them quite common around these areas and this is the best place to come for them oh there's one is this dead? Is it dead though? That's dead, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, where's my Thylo? I'm, I'm going to get you to come with me, actually. Just there, uh, just in case. Come on. Let's go. Feel a bit more safer with a Thylo. Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Where, uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, this is not good. I've just been mugged for all my stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. So we don't have any. Uh, we don't have any um, narcotics now, thanks to that stupid pego over there. But obviously, as you can see, he's with a, uh, a raptor, an alpha raptor as well. So we don't want to mess with that guy. Right. Let's go, Mr. Thyla. Okay, make sure we're away from that alpha raptor. 
I can't believe. I'm not too bothered about the narco. Whoa! Hey, there's one. <laughs> that was uh, that was well worth it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now? You can just go. Up. I'm gonna carry this guy to safety. Okay, I don't know where safety is, but it is definitely not the redwoods. So let's get in here and swim away. This is why I bought a Kaposuka. So I could literally carry him away and basically tame him somewhere else. Oh, unlucky piranhas, you can't get me. What? Okay, so here looks okay. Just across the river, there is an alpha uh, raptor there though. So let's just quickly try and get this done as soon as. So just... Beaming it, and we don't want to be hitting its shell for obvious reasons. Ah, oh, no, it's gone in its shell. So, this is literally like the Dodicarus. Oh, this is literally like the Dodicarus. Once it's um, once it's been hit for so much, it will then just curl up in its in its shell, and it'll take reduced damage, and it just won't come out. There you go. He's got his sweet vegetable cake. You stay there. Let's quickly get some narco berries. I, yeah, I, I kind of panicked for a second there because I hit it. I thought I killed it. I'm going to make a t-shirt. Yeah. Finally, I can be fully dressed. So as you can see, look at how quick their torpidity goes down. They've only got a small pool of torpidity, but it is decreasing pretty rapid. So I am going to need to keep on top of this guy. And make sure that he doesn't die. Is it a guy or a girl? Oh, they've got no gender. Okay, so these haven't got a gender. So when they haven't got a gender, that means that you can't breed them. So that means if you want an Akantana, you've got to go get one. You can't just breed them. Damn. Okay, so I've, I've put a good amount of narco berries in inside of this guy. Or girl. Or actually non-gender, should I say. Um, and yeah, I'm just going just gonna to hang tight. I mean... We've got plenty of bushes here. There's no around us that wants to kill us except that Therizina, wherever that's gone. That seems to have gone. That might be gone around there. Oh, we've got a raptor there, but I'm not too worried about a raptor. I think my Kaposuka can take him, to be fair. So we're back at the base with our Akantina nicely tamed. And as you can see, this is what we're dealing with, guys. The movement speed is phenomenal. Look how fast it is. It's absolutely unbelievable. You could genuinely say that it is snail pace. Because it is. Look how slow they are running or sprinting or sliding. Whatever they're doing towards me. Um, yeah. I think it speaks for itself, really, doesn't it? I mean, what was you expecting? It's a giant slug. Now, one of the good things is we don't need to wait for this guy to finally get to us. We could actually pick this guy up. So we could just pick this guy up just like we do the dodos and we could carry it around with us. It's like a little, I don't know, chihuahua in a bag? I don't know. It's just, we could just carry it, look. So no one is taming an container because of its speed and especially not because of its damage. Now, this guy couldn't even kill anything if he tried. It had just just won't be able to catch them in time no what people get these for is they can produce their very own acantina paste and organic polymer so they can just keep getting it and making it inside themselves look at that we've got five already in here wow that's pretty good and they are pretty fast at this now acantina paste is used in place of the cementing paste so if you don't have any cement paste you can use this bad boy now these guys don't have to be tamed to do this if you get a wild a container and you trap it they will just trump or poop should i say poop some of this already now mine is just set to wandering it only works when they're set to wandering if they're not set to wandering they won't poop anything there we go look he just did it on time nice good boy and he's literally got some a container pace and as well as obviously producing it in himself like say and we've just seen he poops it out. He doesn't poop, poop. He poops the Argentina pace. Get over there. Go on. 
And yeah, so if you have a load of these guys in a little pen or in a cage or wherever you want to keep these guys and just set them to wandering, you will get a lot of this in no time. And like I say, it saves you trying to find cementing base or anything like that. But the organic polymer, however, is another story. You can only get one organic polymer once every hour. Literally 60 minutes it takes for this guy to produce organic polymer. Now, I've had this guy about, what, half an hour, and he's not produced a single organic polymer. So, yeah, organic polymer, you're probably best off going and killing Kairukus. Now, I've made these guys their own little pen, and don't worry, these uh, these two fences will be gone soon. The thing I did realize, though, is these guys have no gender, and the crazy thing about that is they can actually mate. So, yeah, we're going to... I'm just mating these two to see see what we get, really. We're going to get two, two other, other snails. Let's call them giant snails. We're going to get two other giant snails... And we're gonna get a lot of, of these uh, these lovely air container paste. So we've got one in him, and oh, we've got eight in this one, and we've also got one that's poops there. Oh, there's another one that's been pooped out. So we're gonna wait and look. This is this is how crazy. Oh no, it means pick you up. Damn, I've reset the reset the mating process. Never mind, that's fine. But look at that. We've got literally twenty all together. Come on, make daddy some baby snails. Okay, here we go. Two, one. Oh, yeah, we've got baby snails. Woo! There we go. Oh, get out of the way, you. Nice. And now, doesn't matter if we enable mating or not. There we go. Oh, we've got another baby one. Hello. Oh, whoa. we got three baby snails. Look at, look at them. They are pretty cute, though, aren't they, them? I like them. The bad thing about having all these Arcantinas is they still only eat sweet vegetable cake. And unless you've got a pretty much unlimited supply of sweet vegetable cake, these guys might actually die. Um, me personally, I'm just going to keep two of them alive and see how long we can keep the others alive. And hope for the best, I guess. I'm an evil guy. So one thing about the Arcantinas as well is these guys have a times three spoiler multiplier with organic polymer so if we have it in our hands you can see we have seven minutes left pop it into him it gives us 20 minutes so that is great especially because they produce it themselves Well, guys, that's been it for me and my Akintinas. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, don't forget to leave that like button and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out massively. And I'll see you all in the next episode. There's a lot of sparkly poop down there.